Today is day 14 in the Brinse Octagon 20 first hatch. Um, I am going to candle them here in just a couple of minutes. I just wanted to tell you, um, day 14 marks the marks the point. It's um, two thirds through the incubation period. The embryo moves to lie lengthwise in the egg with the head toward the larger end. Okay, so by now, most of the organs have developed and, um, and growth is the major act activity. Uh, they have down, the skeleton is calcifying. On day eight, the first sign of feathers appear. That's very cute. Okay, um, so by day 14, what we're looking at is the embryo lies lengthwise. The head is closer to the larger end. And this is according to... Dun, 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 dun. Credit goes to poultryhub.org. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, it's day 14 here, and there's not really... It's already that the chicken is like so big in there that you can't really see much. Looks good. You can see the air still looks a little larger than it did on day 7. I can see this baby moving, but not on the side you're looking at, so sorry. Excuse my phone. Day 14 is a great day for embryo movement, and I'm sorry that um, it's so dark, it's hard to see. But you can, uh, what you definitely can see is that um, there's a lot less light passing through these eggs as they're being filled up. And you can see the air cell on the bottom here very clearly um, because light will pass through that. But the egg is almost full because we're two-thirds of the way there. Okay, this is the only egg that had to be removed today from the rinse incubator. We started with 24 eggs and we removed three after the first candling and this one is being removed now and we're going to inspect it. Okay. Over here, there's a little bit of blood. This is, um, a very early death. I probably uh, just missed it on the last candling and didn't catch it until today. 